Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? Thanks so much for the comments on the In Conclusion video. It took me a while to prepare that video because I was having a hard time deciding really who was going to win. I did not know. I really liked all the stories. I read The Enemy, Rampant, Hold Me Closer, Necromancer. And the anthology was great. And I just thought the unicorns deserved some recognition for how badass they can be. And so I just wanted to let people know they are more than just rainbow horses. They are, really. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. It's time for the May book haul. I'm very excited. It was hard choosing kind of a theme. I was waiting on a book arriving in the mail. That was going to determine what I was going to read for the month. And so if it didn't come in, I was going to change up the theme. But if it did come in for May, I was going to read it and review it. Build my whole theme around this book. So the book did come in. I'm glad to say. I'm very excited for the book and I'm very excited for this theme because the other books I chose, a couple of books are sequels to series I've read before so just FYI. Yeah so I hope you guys like it. I hope you're excited because I'm excited. Anyways, I'm rambling. So for the month of May, uh, <laughs> I'm going to read sci-fi. Yes, Guys, it's time to read some more sci-fi, for me at least. So it's all because of this book that I chose to surround this theme around. So the first book I'm going to read and review is The 13th by Georgia Twynham. The 13th is part of a six-part series I hear, and the second book, The Turncoats, is already out. This is the book I've been waiting to receive in the mail. I saw Georgia subscribe to my channel, and I went to her channel to thank her for subscribing because I do appreciate all of my subscribers. I love checking out the channels that subscribe to me and personally thank them because it is awesome. So when Georgia subscribed to me and talked to her a little bit, she is a self-published author in the UK. I went on her website and read an excerpt of the book. I read her first chapter of the 13th. It sounded great. It's about a teenage girl named Valerie Saunders. She's about to turn 18. She's being thrown through time and space and that, that sounds sentence right there kind of clinched my interest. Time and space sounds awesome and I just wanted to know more about where she's going. Apparently she's discovering magical powers. She sounds like a really great strong female character. She has a destiny, an unwanted tattoo appearing. As you can see on the back there is zodiac symbols and this symbol right here which I want to know what it is. She's a kind of girl that wants to blend in but she seems to be kind of making a whole scene of situations. So it sounds pretty darn epic. It sounded right up my alley, something I would read. So what's really surprising is there's no reviews on Goodreads yet. So hopefully I have the honor of submitting my first review for the 13th. So letting you guys know what I think about it. My first book from an author, Georgia, thank you so much for sending me this book. I really hope I do like it. I'll let you know what I think of it for sure. Very excited for that. So the 13th, time, space. Sounds very sci-fi-ish. Uh, this month is all about sci-fi. Naturally, I had to get Across the Universe by Beth Revis. This is a reverse side cover. As you guys know, there's been a lot of hype about Across the Universe. There's been plenty of reviews on it on YouTube and everywhere else. This book has been receiving very high ratings, readable times a billion. You know, it'll add five years to your life if you read this book. All I know about the book, there are people on a spaceship. Main character is a girl. She is in this cryogenic chamber. It's kind of frozen in time until they reach the destination, but she is awakened early on the ship and that's basically all I know and there is some romance in here it's a sci-fi romance I've heard great things and I can't wait to finally read this book and let you guys know what I think if it's a readable so these next two books are sequels of different series. So the next book I'm going to check out is Lies by Michael Grant. This is the third book in the Gone series. And I have the paperback version. Oh my gosh. Goes with my other two paperback books. Astrid is right here looking very old on this cover. And Sam, who is actually looking very good in this cover. If you guys don't know, Gone by Michael Grant is a series I love. It's full of craziness and drama and kids with superpowers and they're kind of isolated in this community and all the grown-ups are gone and it's chaos and anarchy and I love it. Why I want to read this book so badly is because I want to read Plague, the fourth book in the series that came out earlier this year and I really really want to read that book because it looks so good. I am determined to catch up with the series as it stands this year. So need to read Lies first and then I'm going to check out Plague and then the world will be a happy place once I read those two. 
No, it won't. For the last book I'm going to read and check out, I'm very excited. This series, top of my list. I just love the first book. I love how the author writes the book and I think it's original and the writing style is different and it's action-packed and full of suspense and craziness. I said in my review before that if the series continues to go along how the first book went, this might be my favorite series of all time. All time. The next book I'm going to check out is The Ask and the Answer, the second book in the Chaos Walking series by Patrick Ness. Highly recommend it if you like dystopia, sci-fi, wonderful storyline, wonderful characters, I thought. So it is a trilogy. The third book is Monsters of Men, I believe. I am determined to finish the series this year. I'm very excited. It left on a crazy cliffhanger, the first book, and I... yeah. So that's the month of May, sci-fi, you know, the first thing you think of May, Mother's Day, sci-fi, right? So I'm very excited to read all of these books, let you know what I think, very excited to continue on with series that I love. So yeah, anyways guys, I will talk to you guys later. I have videos to do, I need to do tag videos and I need to catch up and talk to you guys. I also want to thank the subscribers and the people following me on Twitter and on Goodreads and on Tumblr and those who have been sending me messages on Tumblr. Thank you so much. I really appreciate those comments and I gush over them and thank you so much. I appreciate all the love and the support. I'm glad people are getting back into reading because reading is fun and people need to read more I think. Okay so I will talk to you guys later and have a good one. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> it, 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 it was hard. It's cool. It, yeah. 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 And yeah. 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 That doesn't make sense. I can't talk.